Hello everyone. I hope you're all doing safe and well. I'll be painting a still life with some plants today, but before I talk more about my painting process, I just want to mention that I'll be putting links in the description box below of Twitter threads of places you can donate to in the Philippines affected by Typhoon Ulysses. So check it out, donate if you can, and retweet to spread the word. Still life paintings are beautiful, but they're not my favorite type of paintings. I'm drawn to those still lives where the artist makes the most mundane things come alive and more interesting to look at. I think this is only the second time I've tried to seriously paint a still life. I'll flash the first one I did, I think about a year or two ago here on the screen and I think I did a great job with it. What I like about this first one I did was how I painted the reflection of the strawberry and the apple. It just draws me in and now that I think about it, I think why I enjoy painting the first to life more than this one is because of the brush I used. So for the first one, I use flat brushes. I'm pretty used to using flat brushes when it comes to acrylics because it just picks up more paint compared to a round brush and with this painting I'm doing now, I'm using a round brush. Personally, I find that round brushes work better for gouache and watercolor because as I said, flat brushes pick up more paint in my opinion than round brushes so I think that affected how much I enjoyed painting this one I browsed this site called Paint My Photo for reference images and I don't really look for anything in particular but just something that inspires me and what feels right. I chose this image and what drew me to paint this one was the striped tablecloth on the eggplants. The white and red against the violet of the vegetables caught my eye. I bookmarked another image which is just a picture of a cob of corn and it gave me farm life, cottage core vibes and I might try painting it next time and make a little series of vegetable paintings.
but I admit I was struggling with this piece because the lights are just they're they're hard to paint. Like with landscapes, for me, it, you can get away with not being too detailed. Whereas with still lifes, you really have to focus on the form of the objects, the placement of things within the whole painting, and how light affects the objects in the painting, and how the lighting of one object affects the lighting of another object, stuff like that. And I like painting things in a more abstract manner, so yes, the lights are they're pretty difficult. Like, what do you guys think? Do you have difficulty painting still lives? Cause I'm, it's a challenge for me, but it's something I definitely want to get better at. If you watch my Limelight sketchbook review, I'll link it somewhere here in the video or I'll put it in the description box below. If you've watched that, you've seen me show the sketchbook I'm using for a brief moment. It's this craft sketchbook also by Limelight, and maybe next week's video might be a review of this sketchbook. And what's cool is that that review video is my first to hit 100 plus views, so well, I, I didn't really expect my, any of my videos to reach 100 plus views yet, so I'm glad that you guys who watched it found it helpful.
So looking at the finished painting now, I think I could have done better with the proportions of the vegetables because I think in the original image, the eggplants took up more space than how I painted it. So I, I think I could have done better on that part. And I was just overthinking the whole piece because as I've said earlier, like still lives are hard and I was focused on getting the colors right, the way the light hits the objects and the size proportion of the objects. But I was thinking way too hard and I didn't enjoy this painting this piece much to be honest, but in the end it's still a learning experience for me and well, it's not bad. I like it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye!